Hey what's up guys, in this little tutorial I'll show you how to make a plane out of a function. Being able to create them dynamically can be quite useful. For example, I'll use this function to create a Terran like this one. It is all made out of planes that I've created using a function. So let's get started. The first thing I will be doing is I am going to create a helper script a static one so I will be able to use it from anywhere in my code so I will start by making this a static class so public static class helper I will remove the modal behavior because I'm not gonna need to inherit from that and I will go ahead and create the function so this is going to be a public static game object because I want to have a reference the plane that I create and I'm simply going to call this create plane now I'm going to take the width of the plane and also the height. Okay. In here, I will start by declaring my game object that I'm going to return. So game object go is equal to a new game object. I can give it a name. Let's just say I'm going to call it plane for now. But of course, you can change it later on with dynamic data. Okay, so. In order to create a plane, what we need is first off a mesh filter. So let's declare a mesh filter MF is going to equal, and we're going to add the, the component on our new game object. So geo.add component, type of mesh filter, and make sure to cast it as, oh, sorry, as mesh filter. Now we're going to do the same thing, but this time with a mesh render. Okay, once we have these two, we finally need a mesh. So let's declare a mesh. Mesh M is equal to new mesh. Oh, new mesh. And now we need to define uh, what exactly the mesh is going to be made of. So we need to declare is vertice first. Let's do that by saying M dot vertices is equal to an array of vector three. And now we have to declare the location of the vertice. The first one is going to be a new vector 3, and we're just simply going to say it's at the origin. The second one is going to be a bit different. We're going to use the width and then 0, 0. Third one is going to be the width plus the 8. And the last one is simply going to be only the 8. Oh, 0 and make sure you close that up with a semicolon. So now that we have the vertices, we also want to um, define the UVs in case we want to have a texture on this later on. So let's go ahead and say mesh.uv is going to equal a new array of vector two. And in here, we are simply going to put the default values for UV. So um, we're going to change this by two. So we need a total of four vector two and it's going to be zero 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 one 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 and one zero quit so these UV match exactly the vertices that we just declared now the last thing we want to do is define a triangle so mesh dot triangles is going to equal a new array of int and now we have to put them in the good order in order to render our uh, mesh properly. Now to match these up here, we are going to say 0, 1, 2, 0, 2, 3. So this way the triangle is going to be drawn in the good direction and we'll be able to see it. Okay, so that's pretty much all we need to um, create a new plane. Now all we got to do is assign the mesh to the mesh filter and also recalculate uh, normals or bounds. So let's do that right here at the very bottom of the function and we are going to say mesh filter so mf dot mesh is going to equal m and also make sure that we do m dot recalculate normals and if you actually move this you want to say recalculate bounds as well so just make sure you put these two at the very end. Okay, now we are finally going to return our game object 
and let's go try that out in game. Alright, so for the sake of testing, I am going to create a new test script and I will simply go in there, keep the start function and call for a new plane. So let's remove everything and I am going to put the private void start and now we are going to create ourselves a plane. So let's just go ahead and, uh, and say helper dot create plane. I want a 5 by 10 and let's just uh, try this out. Okay, so now that we have our script, we are simply going to drag and drop it on top of pretty much anything because all we want is the void start function to be called. So I went ahead and I dragged it on top of my game master and I'm going to hit play. And as you can see, we do have our plane here. It's actually a 10 by 10 because I modified it. Let's go back and say 5 by 10. I'm going to reset it. And as you can see, it is now a 5 by 10. Um, but we're going to be going a little bit further than that. I also want this to have a collider because uh, this way I can use it to make walls or any other kind of item with a collider. So I will go ahead and uh, modify my function just a little bit. So I'll go in the helper class and I will take an additional parameter that I'm going to call collider. So boolean collider. And what I'm going to be doing here is if this is true and I'll put it over here. If collider is true then I want this to add a new component to my object. So I'm going to say gameobject.add component type of mesh collider. Oh, I can't try it. Mesh collider. And I want to make sure that the mesh collider has the right um, mesh as a reference for his collider. So I'm going to cast it as a mesh collider again. Make sure you put this into parentheses and then you say that shared mesh is equal to m which is our mesh we just created here. Now let's try this out with a additional um, additional parameter here so say we want to create a plane um, that has collider and also want to create a plane that has no collider. False. Okay let's go in game now we should have two planes. Um, actually, you know what? I'm going to make one a little bit different. So let's hit play. So this one over here has a mesh collider. In fact, you can see it from my camera being a little messed up. This one has a mesh collider and this one over here doesn't. And it's working properly because I can't go through it, but I can go through this one. I suggest you actually just go inside the helper function and you could simply add a new material here uh, as a parameter that you can call like mat and then you go down here and say mr which is the mesh render dot material is going to equal material and you can simply feed it whenever you want to create the plane. So let's try it out. Let's declare a new public material that I'm going to call plane mat and I am going to feed it at the very end of my function like this. Now of course I will need to assign this to something so I'll go ahead and just drop uh, say the pink one, actually the red one. Any material you have and hit play. Alright so we alright alright so we have some nice planes here also remember that you can create these at any time using the static function inside our helper script. So I hope you guys enjoy and I will see you next time.